Hi, I'm Mateusz from Board Game Colors, and today we're going to paint a Captain character from Nemesis the Board Game. Today I want to do a little experiment. I want to compare three different styles of painting of the face. I'm really used to my shadows, eyes, mid-tone highlight style so much that I didn't really use any others. Why not to compare them? Mini is already primed and clean. If you like to know how to do it, check my Aliens in Scout videos. For the first approach, I want to check if I can use zenithal highlight I've done during priming. Inks usually work nicely as filters, so why not to use them to paint this guy? I never use inks exclusively, so let's see what I can achieve and learn. First I need to get a skin color. I own only a few basic inks, but it shouldn't be a problem. I used Liquitex Subgreen, Scale Color Intensity Red and Yellow, and also Daler Roni's White. A few droplets of each one on the wet palette should be enough. One good tip here is to have some separate drops of paint while mixing, so you always have clean colors at your disposal. I want to get a Caucasian skin tone, so we need to mix red, green and white, and maybe some yellow. We will see. I started by mixing green with red to get a nice brown color. Caucasian skin is really desaturated and light, so a lot of white ink was needed too. There is no recipe here, just trial and error. My inspiration for all this mixing was really informative video by Alfonso Giraldes Banshi. I'll link it down in the description. Ok, let's put some paint on the mini. The first layer is a rough one with just a mid-tone. I'm ignoring shadow color because I want to use black paint underneath this layer for that. After it was dry, I simply applied a second layer. When working with inks, letting them dry is super important. They are delicate and thin, so you can damage them easily. When the second layer was dry, I painted third one, but this time only on parts getting more light so forehead, cheeks and the neck. I followed with the highlight color. I left the sides of his forehead and jaw in the shadow. I also noticed that it's getting harder and harder to control inks with my brush. It was way too easy to create droplets and pools of paint in places I didn't really want to. Now, when I see it on a video, I can say that I will try to get less paint on my brush next time. I've also added some dark color to the eye sockets and painted hair and beard to see something closer to the final effect. When it was dry, I took a photo. And I can't say I was satisfied. On the other hand, I see some more potential and will probably try to experiment with it a little more in the future. Time for the next approach. This time I will use a technique that most of you probably know really well. It is a layer wash highlight approach that is really easy to use with most of the hobby paint ranges. I know it mostly thanks to the videos made by Duncan from the times when he worked for the Games Workshop. Link in the description. First I painted over a previous face with Pallid Witch Flesh. Two coats were needed. But I wasn't aiming to get a super even coverage. One thing worth noting here is a choice of the background color. If we're aiming for a light skin color, start with a light background. Painting Caucasian skin on a black base could be quite a struggle. Next, I prepared my paints. Hadian Flesh Tone, Kislev Flesh and Rayclan Flesh Shade all from the Citadel line. First, I painted all the skin parts with Cadian. And yes, only one layer was enough. Uh, sorry, Duncan. 
When it was dry, I painted over it with Rayclined wash. This is really translucent paint that tends to stand in the recesses, so you can use it a lot if you like. When it was fully dry, I applied some simple highlights with his left flesh and painted his hair and beard. If you forget for a moment about contrast paints, this is probably the simplest way to paint to a tabletop standard. It is really effective when you want to just show a tiny features of the mini. On the other hand, it doesn't work that well if the sculpt or the cast of the mini are lacking. Finally, I want to show you my usual approach, but this time challenging myself to paint with this crazy camera setup. You can imagine how hard it was to paint small details holding a mini like this. I already have Citadel flesh tones on my palette, so why not to use them? I will also use some Daler Roni sepia ink for mixing shadows, some Palette Witch flesh to get highlights, and some Intensity red if I need saturation. If you have seen my previous videos, you already know this approach. I start with my shadow color, which is Cadian Flesh Tone, mixed with some sepia ink, and I paint all over the skin areas. I start with the face, so it will be dry when I finish up this step. <laughs> this is a good moment to paint the eyes. Most figures are lit from above, so the eyes are in the shadow of the eyebrows. Thus, we can use our shadow color to clean up after we are done, and it will still look really good. Let's start by applying some sepia ink in the eye sockets. Precision is not needed, we will clean up later. I painted eyeballs with pallid witch flesh, but I think they ended up too light. I should have gone with a darker tone. When you are painting eyeballs, try to hold a brush parallel to the brow. Don't be afraid to hold a mini upside down. With some practice, you will even be able to paint them symmetrically. After that, try to paint pupils. Holding a brush perpendicular to the eyebrow is a good idea. When they are even, use your shadow color to make eyeballs smaller. Try to start from the outside of the eye and get closer with your brush strokes. When it is ready, do a similar thing with the darker skin tone color. After that, it is a simple case of painting lighter and lighter tones on a smaller and smaller areas of the face. Pick up the middle of his forehead, his nose, cheekbones and to some extent neck. Just don't go as far with the lightness of highlights on it. Sadly, I didn't record painting the hair, but it was simple. I painted it with Citadel Abaddon Black mixed with Abyssal Blue, and painted some thin lines with Palette Witch Flesh in front and rear of it, so it looked like it has some reflections. I think it's already a lot for this video, so let's speed it up a little bit. If you want to have some more details on how I painted a suit or armor, please check my previous videos. In this step I used Vallejo Night Blue and Glacier Blue, Scale Color Artist Primary Blue and Daler and Rowney's Paints Grey. I mixed them on my palette to get some shadow Neat tone and highlight colors and painted them on the guy's suit in the same order. After that I used Citadel Dumbull Brown to pick up leather straps and belts. I highlighted them in the middle of the curves with a mix of Dumbull Brown and Kislev Flesh, though any bright warm color would do. After that I shaded it with Thin down sepia ink. I proceeded with Homo. I base coated it with Scale Color Abyssal Blue and painted over it with Green Stuff Word Actrax Metal, 
just leaving recesses. Next, I applied Citadel Rune Funk Steel on the top and side edges with the side of my brush to make them shine even more. When it was dry, I simply painted over it with Liquitex Black Ink. At this step I felt like this mini is a little boring. But I know a good way to add some visual appeal to a mini like this. Ok, let's paint some lights and make them glow. I've picked up all the areas that looked for me like light panels with some white color. I decided I want warm light to balance out all the cold tones on this model. So I prepared my Citadel Troll Slayer orange and Ariel yellow. I will also use Scale Color Intensity Red later on. First, I painted over the white areas with yellow. I'm trying to be precise. I don't want to clean up anything at this stage. When I am done, I mix some yellow with orange and paint over yellow areas, just leaving small dots in the middle or side of them, depending on what I want to be brightest. Next, I use pure orange, painting even more to the sides. Also, when I have a little less paint on the brush, I tried painting areas that would be illuminated by those lights. It will be a really nice touch in the end. Finally, I just get a tiny bit of diluted red ink on my brush and paint over the lights. I try not to leave much of it on the yellow parts, but leaving it on the sides would do the work. Also, don't be afraid. It dries slowly, you will have a minute or two to clean up. In the end, don't forget to use it on the reflections around the lights, if you painted them, of course. The only things left are painting a base and sealing a mini. I've already shown you how to do it in previous videos, so please, check them out. Okay. The captain is finished. Now he can order around mechanic and scout. Good job again, partner. I personally really like how glowy parts contrast with dark armor. And how about you? Now it's time we talk. In this video I basically skipped some parts of painting, because I already talked about them in the previous videos. But I want to know if it's acceptable to you, my dear viewers. Or should I explain all the steps every single time? Let's talk in the comments. I also invite you to subscribe. Kate from Warsaw, Poland, didn't subscribe. And she dropped her competition mini from the balcony. I'm not sure if there is connection. But why take a risk? See you next time.